Liberty Bird Soaps. Today we are making a lovely soap. This soap is called Coffee and Cream, or at least that's what I'm calling it right now. Um, the batch here is separated into two equal parts, and that is because half of the batch is going to be mixed with this lye water solution, which is actually lye and coffee. I brewed coffee, and then I replaced that with the water, and I mixed it with my lye, so that's here. And then the other one is just going to have a traditional lye water solution. Now this soap, I did actually add um, sodium lactate, hoping to get a, a harder bar faster, so that way I can unmold faster, show you guys it faster, and uh, that whole thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move a, one of these to the side and work with one at a time. So this one is actually going, this to, one is be going to be the coffee part of this soap. So I'm going to grab my blender here, pour down my coffee ally solution. I'm going to mix this up here. So since I'm working with two batches, I actually should have done the white first, but, or the non-coffeed soap, but no big deal. So I'm going to set this off to the side. So this is soap number one. Now I'm going to bring in the other one. One thing I don't think I told you yet was what is actually in this soap. This soap today is olive oil, coconut oil, Crisco, canola oil, and shea butter. So that's in here. Now in this one, we are going to be doing the just the traditional. This is a lye and water. I'm going to pour it down my stick blender. that so that's the second soap now in here um, we are also going to add some coffee so in here I have about a tablespoon of coffee that I'm going to mix in here now this soap is going to be unscented um, I believe I'm not sure how much of the coffee is going to stick around but this coffee that we're putting in here is going to be some nice little skin scrubbers in this soap um, if you happen to have tried one of the samples for Java Dessert, that has coffee in it. And I love the way that it makes my skin feel. So you'll have to let me know if you love the way that it makes your skin feel. So there is the coffee all incorporated in there. And now I'm going to bring over this one. So here are the two soaps that we're working on. The reason that I have them separated is because as you can tell, the uh, coffee has made this one brown, and then this one is just a traditional soap color, but it has darkened with the coffee grounds I put in there. Now, the one thing here that I'm going to do is I'm hoping to use a little bit of this as um, t a topping on my as a like a whipped cream topping on the top of this soap um if you are in my facebook group um you'll see the inspiration for today's soap and i'm hoping that it looks something like that so i am going to pour out about an ounce out of both of these and i am going to measure it because i did make exactly two extra ounces <laughs> Now with this, I am just putting them both into this cup mixed together. So there is that. So these are the what I'm going to work with to fill my mold. Here is something that I'm going to set aside as my whipped cream topping for the top. So we will see how that works. So I'm thinking I want these to be a little bit thicker of a tree. So I'm going to pull them each, each a little bit more. So since I don't want the coffee grounds in this brown one, although the other ones later, I'm going to mix this one up. Hey everyone, so here is the mold we're using. It is a 
one pound mold. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be pouring these alternately in this, but between each layer I am going to be doing, um, like, kind of making like hills. So, we'll see how it all works, but I'm going to get pouring. This is coffee mixed with white amica. I'm just gonna do some minerals. <laughs> This one we are calling Coffee and Cream. So I'm not sure how well you guys can see the lines, but this was poured in layers, if you remember, from the five seconds ago when you were watching it. Coffee. So this was made with coffee uh, in replacing the lye water. This one's actually made with coffee in the soap, and then they alternated with fun on the top. So as you can see, I've already sectioned these out. These are not going to be perfect in the middle of any of these soaps. Alright, so I've already measured these out, and I have cleaned my knife here. So I'm going to see how this does with cutting it from the top, and if it doesn't work, we'll cut it from the side. Ooh, look at 
Look at that. Well, this one actually, this little top piece has fallen off, so I'm just going to take it off. I'm going to try this one from the side. So I do cut all of my soaps by hand, so they're not always going to be perfect. And there you go, coffee and cream.